So it's 2008, and you're in Minneapolis, St. Paul, the Twin Cities, the home of Prince, which is a great place to hold the Republican National Convention. <laughs> and last night, Sarah Palin hit it out of the ballpark, like she just fed red meat to the base. Anger never looked so pretty. And it was so awesome. John McCain only looked 800. And for a while, you felt like the White House wouldn't go to the white black guy with the angry wife. And it was great. So at 1 a.m. you do your live to the news. Now, that's kind of like a combination of ballet and Simon Says. The anchor asks a question, you say a prearranged answer with the throw words, like fed political red meat to a re-energized base. <laughs> so you say it, and a finger punches a button in New Zealand, and your story, artfully fed by satellite, fought over, wept over, loved, hated, plays to a nation. Cue sobs of gratitude in 100,000 living rooms. Fifteen minutes later, you're drinking. Frogs, Brits, the, the cameraman who was a man then but became a woman, the abstemious Italian camera guy you hired who you've nicknamed the mule but you never tell him, he smiles at you. How, much drink, how many drinks does it take for a foreign correspondent to still be functional? About five. How many to be fantastic? About seven. <laughs> at 2 a.m., you're reeling out of the bar and you think, I'm going to call that girl that I broke up with in New York. And you pull out your phone, you find you've got 27 missed calls, all from the same number. Plus six, four, nine, nine, one, six, 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 six. Oh, man, it's your boss, the foreign editor. So you dial it up. It's just another live. Your throw words are, show what's up. <laughs> There's a hurricane. Cat 4, maybe 5. Minnesota? In Minneapolis? What? No, New Orleans. Oh, wow. Not just a hurricane. A Democrat hurricane. So good. Republicans fiddling while Rome burns again. McCain. It's like, it's, it's like he's Bush even before he's got the chance to be Bush again. The new thing is actually the old thing. We love that on the news. Democracy is just money changing shape anyway. This is so good. Your editor says, get down there. We've got to get down there. You say, yeah. Yeah, it's a big story. It's a hurricane. He says, it's a hurricane, not hurricane. You said hurricane and Katrina? Say hurricane. You go, okay. You go, I'm going to do this. It's great. Then you hang up and you say, I got a date with a hurricane. I got a date with a hurricane, it's so awesome, you sound like some drunk chick from Taita. You call the mule, he's not happy. <laughs> Waking up at 4 a.m. after two hours sleep is awesome, particularly when you're still plastered. The sadness of 4 a.m. hotel hallways, the emptiness of the freeway, the silence between you and the mule. You're bored, you sleep a bit, you dream. Dallas, Fort Worth, 35 missed calls, plus 6, 4, 9, 9, 1, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6. Rent a car, a truck, that's what we need. A Ford Overlord, no, sold out. A Dodge Barbarossa, no, sold out. A Chev Starship Enterprise, eight litres, gurgling V12, slap down the card, we got it, you drive. The mule drives, Texas, it's so boring. Zzz. You wake up, oh crap, I'm driving. <laughs> truck stop, <laughs> diner, what did the clientele like? You're driving again. Splat, splat, splat. Insects fleeing. It's actually the outer ridges of the hurricane. There's no cars in your lane. There's some rain, then there's driving rain. And then you're in it. Well, you're in the outside at least. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Film a piece of camera, because that's the most important part. In the eye of the hurricane. Wait, hurricanes have wind and rain. Crap, you film another piece of camera. You've got one hour to spare. You get to New Orleans. The throw words are another hurricane Katrina, possibly. <laughs> Boom, you do it. You and the mule drive to the hotel that you booked on the other side of town. 36 hours without sleep. What's it like? It's great. <laughs> Except there are cops blocking the way. No way. Way? You can't get to the hotel. You end up sleeping in the Chevy Starship Enterprise on Bourbon Street. You went to a date with a hurricane and you get to sleep with the mule. You toss and turn. He snores. Daylight? There's no hurricane. It's a fizzer. It's a bust. You do a line for breakfast while trying to book out of St. Louis, uh, Louis Armstrong Airport in New Orleans. That's right. New Orleans has Louis Armstrong Airport. You can't do it. So you drive to Biloxi. You dump the Chevy. Plus six, four, nine, nine, one, six, 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 six. You know how tiredness works after a long time? You kind of go mad slightly. You check for your phone. Then you check again. You crave fatty foods, you get a call from the girl that you broke up with, she's crying. Oh wait, that's a fantasy. Or is it? You don't know. Is Biloxi real? Is Dallas-Fort Worth real? Or Minneapolis-St. Paul? You touch down. 
your rental's waiting for you, your old rental. Oh, it's like a homecoming, it's so nice. Two hours to on air, 56 hours without sleep. It's fantastic, you feel blitzed through security, hassles, stumbling. Your throw words are, here in Minneapolis, St. Paul, Simon says something, you say, here in, here in, here, thanks. <laughs>